So if you're generating leads for your fitness business, your personal training studio, you're going to find that a lot of the leads are not going to convert right away. So you want a system in place to follow up with those leads so that you can convert more of them into clients over time after you've built more of a relationship. So that's why today I want to walk you through the simple guide to get started with email marketing, specifically for personal trainers and gym owners. And ultimately, we're going to talk about why you want to create an email newsletter, not just any old email marketing, but a newsletter. This is one of the biggest things I did in my fitness business that made it super easy. And now every time I push an email out, we get a number of inquiries and make sales. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that, how to set one up, what to write about and how to monetize those emails. But first, let's talk about the problem here. You're probably sitting on a gold mine of unconverted leads if you've been collecting emails or you are collecting email leads over time. So if you're not following up with all these leads consistently, I'm telling you, you're losing thousands of pounds or dollars. And I'm going to show you the math in a minute because I realized I was losing way more money than I actually thought I was. So I hear fit pros now today tell me all the time. They say, Justin, I've got a bunch of leads. I've, I've been running ads. I've collected leads over the years. I've had inquiries from my website and I've got maybe several hundred to a few thousand emails of interested people, but I'm not messaging them. I don't know what to email. I don't know what to say to them. Should I just make them an offer? Should I do this? Should I send out a recipe book? I'm going to clear up all the confusion today of what to do. But but the bottom line is you need to be sending out emails. So maybe, though, you don't have time to be making loads of different content. You haven't got time to be doing endless follow ups manually. Or maybe maybe you're just too busy and you're not a techie person and don't know how to set all this up. So here's why you want to start a local newsletter. First of all, when you do it right, according to the system I show you, it's going to be ultra low cost and low hassle. It's going to be very easy to set up. And you don't need any tech skills whatsoever. The second thing I like about email and a newsletter is this is the easiest type of content to create. You're not out there trying to create 60 second reels or doing video editing or anything like that stuff. It's simple written emails that don't require any graphics or anything, just ultra simple writing. And it's going to add massive value to the leads that you're working hard to collect onto your list. Either you're paying for those leads through paid advertising, or you're just working really hard, posting organically, getting out there, and you're working to get leads. So you want to be able to make an ROI from the leads that you're generating. Now, and another big thing about email is that it has a much higher consumption rate than social media. So in other words, if you build an Instagram following, at best, you're likely going to get maybe 10% of your audience looking at your stories and being engaged in the content that you post on Instagram. But with an email list, when you do it right, you're going to have 30 to 40% of your list opening your emails multiple times a week. That's a, an extremely high consumption rate. And because email is a higher quality medium of content, someone that's opening your emails is a more qualified lead than someone who's just scrolling on Instagram. And ultimately, once you've built this up, once you get this right, when you write, make the right emails, you're going to be generating lead inquiries every time you hit send. So imagine every time you send an email, you get people coming forward wanting to sign up and pay you. So how much money can you actually make from an email newsletter like this? Well, we all hear the fortunes in the follow up. Now, here's how true that actually is. Let's look at two scenarios. Scenario A, you get 100 leads opt in to your adverts or whatever you're doing for info about your program. They could be website leads, whatever. Let's say you've generated 100 leads over time and 10 of those 
become clients with you. And you charge, let's say, 149 a month on average. So a 10% closing rate of leads. Fantastic. You close 10, but what about the other 90 people who opted in, they expressed interest, but they never closed? And you never follow up with those people. Well, of course, nothing happens. But let's look what happens if you do follow up with a newsletter. The same 100 leads opt in, 10 of them become clients, sure, but what happens next? The other 90 get put onto your automated email newsletter follow-up, which you can write the emails once and have them programmed to go out and be dripped out to every new subscriber as that person joins. Now let's fast forward 90 days later and these 90 people have been getting your emails. So let's say that 40% of your audience is opening your emails. That would be 36 people out of 90 are reading your emails on a constant basis. So let's say after, <clears throat> after 90 days of follow-up, five more of these people become clients. They respond to your emails, they take your offer, and they sign up with you. You've got five more clients. So that means you gained an additional 745 pounds or dollars a month without lifting a finger after the emails have gone out. And let's go another 90 days. Maybe it, it comes to January time or like New Year, New You, or it comes time for a summer shred or a back to school promotion or some kind of busy time where people naturally want to get back into fitness. And then you get another three of that original 90 people sign up with you for another 447 a month. So that means in that 180 day period with an automated follow up, you made an additional over 1K a month in recurring revenue by getting those follow ups. That's 14,300 a year added to your bottom line just from having 100 leads go into an automated system. So imagine if you're adding 100 leads into that system every couple of months you can see how this number spirals out. And the whole system is built once, and then it's just sent evergreen. So I think you can see how much money you're leaving on the table when you hit these kind of numbers with an email newsletter. But maybe the problem is you aren't techy and don't know how to set up an autoresponder or don't know how to automate things. Maybe you don't know what to write in your emails, or maybe you just haven't had much time to set it up. So let's talk about those issues right now. So the solution I propose is what I call the auto client newsletter. And this is an automated way of generating new sales from your building list every single month. It's easy to create the emails. You set it up once and it just basically prints money forever. And it's gonna nurture your leads to build trust over time. Because the reality is the majority of people who sign up and express interest are not gonna work with you straight away. They need to build trust, they need nurture, they need additional content, but they've shown the first step, which is very important. So again, to disregard these leads is, is like crazy. And we can also promote special offers and flash sales for fast cash. Meaning that even though the newsletter will be automated, it doesn't mean we can't also at certain times of year, send out a quick blast email to everybody in real time with a quick 24 hour sale or a quick campaign you might wanna run and get instant cash injections too. So the first question you're probably thinking is what do I write about in my emails? Now the good news is you don't need any copywriting skills. This is a big mistake that stops so many fit pros from writing emails. You don't need to be Andre Chaperone or Ben Settle or any of these amazing email writers. Now, I learned from these guys and I can write good email copywriting, but I realized over time that with the fitness businesses I run, putting the emails out there, you don't need all this um, copywriting, all right? In fact, I would suggest to you, my little hack is I don't even write much in the emails at all. What I recommend you do is post links to your most popular social media content. Now, I haven't got time here to go into what to post, but you can check out a video, our link above or below here with my full content schedule. 
But I have a program that I teach to personal trainers and gym owners called Organic Marketing Domination. And it walks through five types of social media posts that you need to create for a well thought out strategy that hooks people and gets them inquiring, sending you inbound DMs. So you need to post content according to the OMD system. And then once you've created that content already, All you need to do with your emails is link to that content. Now, here's an example on the side of the screen that I did for, um, this is uh, Kerry, one of my old clients, who we did this for, for her fitness bootcamp. So you can see that this email, the subject line is, is the weekend your weekend, right? And she made a quick five-minute video on Facebook talking about some tips of how to not self-sabotage your results over the weekend where most people let their results go to crap. So she did a quick video on Facebook where all the engagement is. And in the video, she also includes a call to action to say like, hey, if, uh, if you're making these mistakes on the weekend and you need extra accountability or to be part of a social group that that goes out, has fun on the weekend, but also does healthy things together, then maybe you wanna check out our bootcamp. And so if you wanna check out my bootcamp, drop me a DM or comment below this Facebook post and I'll reach out and we'll talk. That's an example call to action, okay? She's got that in the video. Now, all we have to do here to write an email is, you can see the copy there, it's literally like, it's like three paragraphs, right? Simply, we open the email with with a question or a problem Like, hey, we've noticed a lot of people let it all slip on the weekend and beat themselves up. Here's what to do about it. Go watch my video for XYZ benefit. Okay, that's all we do. That's all you have to do in the email because the content has already written all the copy for you. Now what happens is they click that button. It'll take them straight to social media, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube even. And then people are going to consume the content. They're going to see all the other comments they're gonna get engaged in the discussion and send you a DM. And the last thing we also put at the bottom then is to include a signature call to action. So a call to action is very simply uh, an opportunity, an invitation to reach out if and when they're ready. What we mean by signature is that this is basically dropped into every single email, usually in the PS section, or even you can even have it set up so that it just automatically goes there. And you can just say something like, when you're ready, you know, thanks for reading our emails. When you're ready for help, here are a couple of ways we can work together. Maybe you'll offer a consultation in one link, or maybe you'll give another link to offer a free trial or something. So you can see there, a subtle call to action at the bottom. It says, by the way, we just opened a handful of spots for our 21 day rapid fat loss challenge. Click here to go and find out more. So that's the basic autopsy of an email. So you see how simple and fast these emails are to create. I would rather you spend your time making good content on social media and then just come and write a quick email that links to it, all right? So how do we get started with all this? Now you know how to write emails. The next thing is to get started and I would choose one of two systems. Now, these are the two that I would recommend the first is Active Campaign. Now, Active Campaign is a very specific, specialized email marketing system. It has a plethora of amazing features. I've used it for app for years. Um, and you know, it does everything. If you want to really go in advanced on email marketing, like if this newsletter thing is a really serious thing for you, you just want to you just want to make a newsletter and get clients you might want to consider active campaign. However, another option is a system called Lead Deck. Now, Lead Deck is an all-in-one platform, and it also includes things like your um, web web pages, follow-up automations, um, customer pipelines, things like that. Now, we use Lead Deck for a lot of the gyms that I help around the world as a good all-in-one system, and Lead Deck also has an email automation function that you can use to do an email newsletter like this. So how do you know which one is for you? Well, I would say if you're already um, on Lead Deck, then 
go ahead and build the email newsletter on there. If you're on a different platform, if your websites, your, your client CRMs and stuff are on other platforms and you're happy with that, then consider getting active campaign and having that specialized email sequence to do the job. If you have any questions on this, just shoot me a comment and we can talk more about that. So the final question then is how do I get subscribers? How do I grow my email list so more and more and more local people are reading my newsletter and seeing you as the expert and authority on fitness and transformation? Well, there are a few ways to build the list. Now, I would say if you're already running Facebook ads, that's the easiest way to do it. So the way we do it in our gyms is we run Facebook ads for our offers and trials and different things. And once the client, ha once the prospect has opted in and they've got some follow-up emails about their inquiry, after that time, they will be automatically added to our ongoing newsletter, which they'll receive two to four times each week. Now, that's an easy way to do it. Another way is you can be using your posts organically on Facebook, on Instagram, or YouTube, and you can be having a direct link in your content to encourage people to sign up and subscribe for your newsletter. So essentially, you can use your newsletter as a lead magnet. A lead magnet is something that we give away that is information-based, that is going to help people solve this problem but they may not be ready to work with a coach yet. So I would recommend instead of giving away like a recipe book or things like that, you can just use the newsletter itself as a promise of value. So you could say, hey, I send out my newsletter, which is jam-packed with my tips and secrets about weight loss and transformation from my 15 years in the industry, helping over a thousand people make a drastic breakthrough. I share all my best secrets in the newsletter three times a week. So the value of the newsletter is like $297, but you can subscribe for free right now. So you actually put a value on your newsletter because it is gonna send out valuable content. And then that can be the offer in itself. Don't think that you have to go and make like a video series or an ebook or anything like that. You can if you want to, but I don't do that. I don't teach anyone to do that. We just offer enough value in the newsletter, okay? Another thing you could do is if you do have a couple of other lead magnets you've created, maybe you've already got some eBooks or recipe guides or um, a great one is case studies of some of the best client transformations you've made or a case study of your own transformation. Uh, package as a little video or a PDF with some tips. And what you can do is you can, you can take all those lead magnets you've created and you can bundle them all into like a gift pack, like a bundle of free stuff that the person gets when they subscribe to your newsletter. Okay, so the simple thing you do then is you would collect all these lead magnets you might have already had, you get the links for them, and you'll just include, put them all on one page. And then when you send out the welcome email, the confirmation email after the person subscribes, you can just put a link on that email saying, hey, welcome to the newsletter. Here's what you're gonna get. And hey, here's a link to all the bonus stuff that you that I, I promised I'd give you just for signing up to my newsletter, right? And that's a very cool way to do it as well. So that's how we do it, guys. That's how you build your newsletter. And so if you do this consistently for the next 90 days, I promise you every time you send an email, automatically you're gonna get clients wanting to work with you. Hope this helps. 